stop doing ho'oponopono if you feel uncomfortable and start again in a few days. In this video, I'm going to share with you my personal journey, how I started doing ho'oponopono and how I slowly increased my comfort level with this particular technique. So watch till the end and subscribe to the channel if not already subscribed because I keep bringing such videos about my stories, my students' stories and how we together can create a beautiful life for ourselves with Ho'oponopono and Law of Attraction. So step number one is whenever we start something new, we are trying to change and when we are trying to change, lot of discomfort already appears on surface. For example, if you're trying to go to the gym every day, for a few days you feel very good, but then the change becomes uncomfortable. Similar is the experience with Ho'oponopono. So what you can do with Ho'oponopono is you can stop for a while and not completely stop, but do it for smaller things I would suggest. For example, if you lost something, you can try chanting one or two times. I'm sorry, please forgive me thank you i love you very simple like that so initially when i started i felt so much discomfort that i was not even able to pronounce ho'oponopono correctly so i used to say that four magical sentences which works magically for me so whenever i had to use word ho'oponopono i would say the four magical sentences okay and the second thing that we need to remember is why we are experiencing this discomfort the reason is that there is a lot of resistance within us because whenever we do not have something we are resisting it in our lives and when the cleaning starts happening the resistance starts coming so for example this is the change that we want so this is the resistance that we have and they both are fighting so whatever becomes stronger wins so if your resistance becomes stronger your resistance wins but if your change becomes stronger your change can win but for that you have to let go of this resistance and that happens with time practice and patience which brings me to my third point that is whenever we do any healing technique and especially like ho'oponopono we need to be very kind patient and loving to ourselves this was the thing that i did not know when i first began with this healing practice so i used to feel very uncomfortable with ho'oponopono so i'll do it for small things whenever i wanted you know quick and fast results but whenever there were things like blockages from my past or very heavy issues which were bothering me i would avoid doing 108 times chanting for those issues like my issues in my job in my relationship with my families and all those kinds of things so i never did 108 times in those days when i started for such issues but i would do hope for getting my meetings cancelled for bringing the things which I would you know need or desire and some small things here and there. So if you are also experiencing such a resistance or discomfort try dropping that resistance a little bit take a deep breath and if you feel totally lost you can even stop the technique for a while and think what is the resistance which is popping up while you're not comfortable with this particular thing and talk to yourself and for yourself you can say you can take your name like i can say my name dear Beshu. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Just five times every day will also be sufficient. And when you feel that now you have become comfortable with these four magical sentences, you can start doing it for bigger and better things. And with practice, everything becomes a habit like exercising. Uh, I don't know whether you exercise or not, but like exercising, Ho'oponopono also becomes a beautiful habit and it is even stronger than that because it is doing its work even when you are not chanting. You just have to initiate the process, change will already uh, begin and uh, you will not even know what is changing, why it is changing, why things are going so absurd in your life suddenly, the things which were right have started going wrong. This is also a result of your cleaning because that thing is no longer required in your life. And if you resist to hold that particular thing, the change that you desire will not happen. So you have to let go of this resistance and you have to let the change come into your life with a lot of love, 
patience and kindness towards yourself and this is what I did and slowly with time over the period of two to three years I've come to this point that I can keep chanting throughout the day actually it has become my second nature and I don't have to force it any longer but when I initially started I would chant only five times for some or the particular issues like five to three issues in a day then there were so heavy issues which are not getting cleared and I was scared but slowly I increased my counts to 21 times, then to 51 times and then to 108 times. And one fine day, uh, it so happened that one issue was not getting resolved and I chanted for 108 times for three to four rounds. And the issue got resolved within a period of seven to eight days. And I became so happy and excited that I started practicing more and more from there on. So whatever is your experience with Ho'oponopono currently, uh, are you chanting five times? Are you chanting 21 times? Are you chanting 108 times? Let me know in the comment section and also let me know how I can help you more with my videos. And we'll love to see you in my next videos. If not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and share the video with anyone who has just begun Ho'oponopono and need this assurance that it's okay to stop and start again. I will see you in the next video.